Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Guess what? It's Friday. And the weekend top and bottom of the deck is back. So we're going to throw it down for you this morning. Before I have to get ready to go to my bread and butter job. I got a few more chores to do around here before I do that though. So And today is my son's last day of virtual school. He returns to regular face-to-face -face learning on Monday. We are super excited, or at least I am. Um, so Tuesday will be the first day that I will be home alone all day, all by myself since March. What am I going to do with myself? Well, I think I'm going to throw down some cards for the month of October that day, <laughs> just try to get it done. So anyway, enough babbling. For those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. Um, it's still Virgo season, so Earth signs are going to go first. I'll go around the wheel accordingly. Same deal as your general sun sign reading. If it resonates, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay, too. It just might not be your message this weekend. Take it for what it is. The universe just might not have anything for you. And it is what it is. But check your placement signs if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Or there may be a message in it for you. If you seek, the universe will give you. So. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. I'm going to put the clarifier deck down because I just shuffle that with my nervous energy. So let's get it going. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, any messages for you for this weekend from the universe? Universe, source, and spirit. I ask for any messages that you have for our earth sign friends of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Three more shuffles. One. Okay, come on. It's time for some new cards. Two. Three. That was a horrible shuffle. I'm going to do one more. We'll work on getting new cards when I can actually physically go to the bookstore and see what deck vibes with me because that's how I like to roll. I like to have physical contact with things. I don't like ordering them online. I really don't. Anyway, all right, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, what's up? Eight of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Wands in the reverse. Oh, wow. Um, can you guys see that? Maybe you can see it a little bit better now. Let's get this so you can see it. Throwing in the towel in a big way. Whoa. Not throwing work into anything. Not pushing through it. Just done. Okay. What are you done with? What happened? Hmm. Five of swords in the reverse, seven of one, seven of swords in the upright. Holy cow. Scattered. Just not picking up pieces. Restless energy. The battle did not go well. I got to see what this is. Sorry. Eh, whatever. It was a weather alert. Frost freeze advisory. Anyway. Scattered pieces. Lies and deception. Hmm. I'm just getting this very strong sense of, I know why you're throwing the towel in. That happy jazz was going on. This is going on from the beginning.
could have been some unknown issues you were in the dark about, too. The Five of Swords can indicate things happening behind closed doors. Wow, okay. Huh. Fast forward a little bit. Ace of Swords in the upright. Princess of Pentacles in the upright. Could educate new communication with new people. The slow moving pentacle of abundance. The Princess of Pentacles can also indicate an apology. So this could be old person energy too. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. Either or at this point. I'm getting a sense it's an apology though. Hmm. Again, that's why we clarify, and that's why I try not to speak before I know what the hell is going on. Hmm. Oh, my. Six of Swords in the reverse. Princess of Swords in the upright. Return and truth. Oh, wow. Hmm. Not throwing the work in, not pushing through. Throwing in a towel, huh? Okay, now you got me wholeheartedly confused, so. <sighs> Universe Source and Spirit, can you get some clarity in the cards on the table for my Earth sign friends, please, for the upcoming weekend? It's only two days worth of energy. It's just good for Saturday and Sunday. Sunday evening when I get home from the bread and butter job, I will. Came out without intention. Ten of Wands reversed. Burdensome cycle that didn't close out properly. Needing to get things off your chest and can't. Could be them, could be you. Could have something to do with this apology, all the lies and secrets and deception and crap going on behind closed doors. Huh. All right. Anyway, get home on Sunday from the bread and butter job and yeah, throw down some cards for the week. Can I get a card on this five of swords reverse? Thanks. The chariot. Kind of a cancer you're dealing with. Distance, distance, I'm hearing distance. One for the Seven of Swords upright, please. Putting distance there, being emotionally distant, possibly being pulled in two different directions. Things going on behind closed doors. Possibly something that happened when someone went out of town. Oh my. If that's setting off alarms, that's for you. If it's not, walk away from it. It's not for you. Three of Cups reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Lies, deception, confusion. Led to confusion that caused the breakdown in the relationship, possibly. Oh, okay. Why is the Ace of Swords here? For the not-so-distant past, possibly the present. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Hey, come up to play. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Oh... That's funny. Yeah, this is, this is, I'm getting a very strong indication that this is the, the person that was up here coming back in. This says to me, I'm going to throw another card on it, but right now it's saying to me, I miss you. I want you. I need you. I screwed up. I'm sorry. This is what this is screaming to me right now. Why is the princess of pentacles here?
Page of Pentacles reversed, Temperance in the reverse. Could be your feelings about the situation. I'm getting a sense of, I'm still angry and this is where you can shove your pentacle. That's what I'm feeling off of that. That's your knee-jerk reaction. Negative energies. Possibly a little bit of too little too late energy. Possibly. Why is the Six of Swords reverse here for what's coming up this weekend? King of Pentacles reversed. Offer rejected. Hmm. One more on that? Five of Pentacles reversed. Well. Someone literally coming back being like, please let me in out of the cold. I know I screwed up. I know that I, I wasn't the person that I told you I was. This is a huge apology. I don't see you accepting it though. Not so far. Why is the princess of swords here? Emperor reversed, Queen of Cups reversed, and you will be speaking your truth. This is the emotional coldness. Wow. Why is the Emperor reversed here? Four of Swords. Laying it to rest. You don't want to deal with it. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer. I got a little bit of everybody. Those are the big ones, though. Those are the majors at this point. Wow. Okay. Emotional coldness, anger, defeat, laying it to rest. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Throwing in the towel. I don't like the Ten of Wands reversed, though. Huh. Well, do with it what you will. Whether, you know... They come back speaking their truth, come back to get something off the chest, do with it what you will. If you have a few things you need to get off your chest, you might want to do it, but you know, it's your game, not mine. Your advice. Hmm. The fool in the upright and the six of pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. What this is saying to me, you still have a lot of residuals coming off of whatever this is. So in the future, when starting new ventures, you need to make sure that you're leveled off first that any residuals from this have passed. Don't go off into new ventures if you are out of balance. We'll get a top and a bottom off of this one and then we'll move on to our air sign friends. 
Queen of Wands reversed and the Nine of Cups reversed. Oh yeah. Mm hmm This Queen of Wands reverse makes me laugh because I'm not going to go into what the Queen of Wands means. I'm not. The, we're all adults here. Those of you who have been following the channel for a while know that wands can indicate things of a certain nature. So don't go fill in your cups emotionally with things of a certain nature because that's band-aids. Just avoid, avoid the physical band-aids for a while. Okay? And so the energies from this jazz clears. But do with it what you will. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards, kids. signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Universe, Source, and Spirit, I ask pretty messages you have for our air sign friends, Gemini Libra Aquarius, for this weekend, three more shuffles. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Death in the reverse, Queen of Cups in the upright, could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, or another water sign person. Hmm. Feelings haven't changed? There could be some strong feelings preventing in a spiritual evolution, possibly. You know, if you really want to go down the rabbit hole with that. I'm just going to go with feelings haven't changed. What happened? Eight of swords upright, six of wands upright. Hmm. Could have been a return. Something got y'all riled up up inside your head and this depiction of the Eight of Swords is interesting because she's down on her knees. Eyes are blindfolded, hands are bound, down on her knees, and her escape route, her way out, and they say that a witch's magic is in her hat, so her only way of getting out of this is on the other side of her swords, or these swords, so I think some of you may have been put into a place where 
you felt like you had no way out. We're going to get an indicator on the Six of Wands here in a minute. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that. Could have had something to do with a return. Or it could have just had something to do with Leo. Take it however it resonates. If it's setting off alarms, grab it. If it's not, walk away. What happened after that? I see three of wands in the reverse, the devil in the reverse. Could have been a Capricorn. Could have been an Aries. Either way, loss of patience. This devil in the reverse indicates to me that you tried to get out of that cage of swords. Tried to kick off the cement shoes. Tried to disconnect from it. Alright, what's coming into this weekend? Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. Well, I said feelings hadn't changed. Could be a potential reunion. At the very least, a conversation with this Knight of Swords. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my air sign friends, please? Going into this weekend. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. Ace of Cups reversed comes out. Without intention. Hmm. Feelings haven't changed. There's still overwhelming emotion, but an empty cup. Hmm. Or a spilled cup. <clears throat> I'm not going to beat that Eight of Swords to death. Why is the Six of Wands here? Don't everybody talk at once. Wow. Okay, I'll take four. I'll take four. The universe is very insistent. Hmm. The world, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Empress. Wow. No wonder you were all up in your head. This is something that had closed out. There is a very painful cycle involved in whoever this Six of Wands is or whatever this Six of Wands is. This is someone you held in very high regard with this Empress. This is some, something you wanted. It brought you balance. You were two peas in a pod, but it had to come to an end. Or did it? They could have brought about a close in another cycle of your life. Sometimes it's hard to tell if, you know, someone or something was the beginning of a chapter or the end of one. Time and energy being fluid and all that jazz. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Why is the Three of Wands reversed here? Page of Pentacles reversed. Someone chose to not wait around for stagnant energy. One for the devil. Thanks, Queen of Wands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Another Leo card. 
very well could have been a Leo you were dealing with. If it's not, whatever. Someone who thinks they're all that in a bag of chips, anyway, and is willing to prove it. One more on that. Could have been a lot of energy of a certain nature involved in this connection. Maybe that was the pull with it. Nine of Wands! Yeah, um, things of a certain nature, this would be the card. Mm. So you pulled away from that. You lost patience with it. Maybe that's all they had to offer you, and that's why you walked away. Okay. Well, what's happening this weekend? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Three of Cups reversed. Seven of Swords. Oh, wow. Hmm. I don't like that. One more. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Hmm. This could be a very lengthy con Yeah, could be a very lengthy conversation you have this weekend. So, strap in. Um. I don't know how honest of a conversation it's going to be there with the Seven of Swords. So. Get your sifter out, sift out the lies from the truth. They may be saying one thing with intentions of another. Or they could be coming back telling you the truth. But I don't know. That's Seven of Swords. could be someone else coming in to tell you the truth about what happened too. It's cups energy. It's cups energy. All right. Why is the three of cups here? Eight of Wands. Yeah, I see somebody trying to come back for a reunion and y'all not being all about that. Hangman reversed. More water sign energy. There's Pisces. One more. Sag oh yeah, temperance reversed. Mm -mm. Somebody trying to come back in for that reunion and you're being like, oh no. Mm. That's the salty feelings card. And you're not moving on this. You're not dealing with it. You're still upset by it. I see somebody trying to come in and speak truth. Trying to level a playing field out. Possibly coming back as to why they were dishonest in the beginning, but I don't know. 
There's a lot of smoke and mirrors there. Things haven't changed. Things haven't changed. There's still a lot of raw emotion there. Okay. You want to talk. Queen of Swords reversed, yeah. Let's stop right there. Bad attitudes, salty feelings. I would too. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. Your advice. The King of Wands upright, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Wow. I gotta grab another pair. Knight of Runes reverse two of pentacles, okay. That makes more sense. Don't move forward with things that aren't going to be fruitful and aren't going to go anywhere. You need to work on balancing yourself out. Oh, same advice. Different group of people, pretty much the same advice. Don't move forward with things that aren't going to be fruitful. Work on you. work on you. There's a lot of residuals up here. I think you had the wool pulled over your eyes on this and it's time to open your eyes and see clearly and get your sifter out. Sort the lies from the BS. Wait, lies and BS are the same thing. Sort the truth from the lies and the BS. Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee yet today. Just be mindful going into this. You know what's up. You know what's up. Okay. That's what I have for my air sign friends. Since I pre-record these because I'm not a huge fan of going live, I may have to pause and go check on my kid and make sure... He is doing his thing, so it's time to take a break. Hold on to that thought. <laughs> 